everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to make this Catherine Wheel bookmark, which is the bookmark you see here in front of you. Uh, it is quite a pretty design and it features the ever popular Catherine Wheel stitch. It is accented with this little uh, wheel um, embellishment here on the end and it is all worked as one piece so this final little add-on is actually part of the edging uh, it's not something that you need to attach afterward so for this pattern you're going to need a little bit about 20 yards each of a lightweight yarn so i'm using patton's grace which is a 100 percent mercerized cotton it's a lightweight yarn so if you want to substitute you can look for the yarn with the three on the label and you can do that you're going to need about uh, 20 yards of each color i'm going to be working with the citadel blue today as well as the natural color you're also going to need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for weaving in your ends the free written pattern for this bookmark can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and you will find the direct link in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me and if it is your first time here to my channel I invite you to check out some of the other videos there and be sure to subscribe. So our pattern today is worked in rows and it is worked lengthwise. So you're going to start by taking your color A, and today I'll be using the darker blue, the Citadel color for my color A, and you're going to start by making a slip knot. You're then going to chain 37 chains. After you have chained 37 chains, you're going to single crochet into the second chain from hook and in each across. So count in one, two, into that second chain, work a single crochet, and then single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of this row, you're going to have a total of 36 single crochet stitches. After you have worked one single crochet in each chain all the way across, beginning in, beginning in that second one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to start by working a single crochet into the first stitch and second stitch. So in the first stitch, single crochet, and the second stitch, work another single crochet. You're then going to begin uh, to work uh, it's kind of a half of a Catherine wheel. And what you're going to do is you're going to skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, into that next stitch, you're going to work seven double crochet stitches. So work, skip three stitches, and work seven double crochet stitches into the next stitch. seven. You're then going to skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and into the next three stitches work one single crochet. So single crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're now going to repeat. Skip three stitches and work seven double crochets into the next stitch. Skip three stitches 
and work a single crochet in each of the next three. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final four stitches, you will have worked three single crochets and then you'll have four left. When you come to your final four stitches, you're going to skip the next three and then into that final stitch, you're going to work four double crochet stitches. In your fourth double crochet, that final one, you're going to switch to your color B. To switch to your color B in that last stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're then going to drop your color A, and I leave left mine uh, fastened at this time because I'm going to pick it up later on. So drop your color A, pick up your color B. I can get it untangled, there we go. And place it on your hook. And then pull through the remaining two loops. You're now all set to go with your color B. You can just pull that tight. For row three, with your color B, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to work a single crochet in each of the first two stitches. So the first stitch, single crochet, into the next stitch, single crochet. You're now going to work your first, uh, you're going to work your first cluster. Actually, first you're going to chain three. So two single crochet, chain three, and now we're going to work our first cluster stitch. Our cluster is going to be worked over the next seven stitches. To work your cluster, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And you're going to do that for a total of seven times. So again, yarn over into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Continue to do that until you've worked into seven stitches in total. So there's four, there's five, six, and seven. You are going to have eight loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over and draw through all eight loops. And that is your cluster stitch made. Chain three. And now work a single crochet in each of the next three double crochet stitches. So there's one, two, and three. You're now going to repeat chain three, cluster over each of the next seven stitches, there's four, five, six, and seven. Yarn over, pull through all seven, uh, all eight loops, chain three, and single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Chain three, and cluster over the next seven. through all eight loops, chain three, work three single crochet stitches, 
And when you come to your final, I guess it's going to be six stitches or five stitches there, you're going to chain three. And you're going to work, actually there's only four there, you're going to work a cluster stitch over those last four stitches. this time you're going to chain three you're going to continue working with your color B and turn your work for row four your chain three counts as a double crochet stitch and you're going to work three more double crochets into that first stitch so into what the chain down there at the bottom into the center what would be the center of uh, your Catherine wheel so at the bottom there, work three more double crochets. There's one, two, and three. You're then going to skip your chain three and then single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Skip your chain three and work seven double crochet stitches all into the center of that last cluster stitch so into that chain space where you closed your cluster off so into the center of that you're going to work seven double crochet stitches Seven. Skip the next chain three space. Work one uh, single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Skip the next chain three and into the center of your wheel work seven double crochet stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next chain three, single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Seven double crochet into the center of your next wheel. Skip the next chain three and single crochet into each of the last two stitches. At the end of this single crochet, you're going to switch over back to your color A by dropping that color B and you can fasten off your color B because you won't need it again yet. You're going to pick up your color A once again and place it on your hook, pull through those two loops. You're now ready to start your row five with your color A. So with your color A, you're going to chain three and to turn your work. For row five and your color A, you're going to skip that first stitch and you're going to work a cluster stitch over the next three stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. You're going to do that two more times. And once you have four loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and draw through all four. You're going to chain three and single crochet in each of the next three stitches. chain three and now work a cluster stitch over the next seven stitches you 
yarn over and pull through all eight loops. Chain three and single crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat chain three, cluster over the next seven stitches, chain three and single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Chain three and cluster over the next seven stitches. chain three and then single crochet in each of the last two stitches remembering that your starting chain three from the row below counts as a stitch so there's one and then into that starting chain three work your final stitch and two you're then going to continue working with your color a you're going to chain one and turn your work For row six, you're going to work a single crochet in each of the first two stitches. Sing, work three single crochet into the chain three space. Single crochet into the center of your wheel, your cluster. And then work three single crochet into the next chain three space. Repeat that single crochet in each of the next three single crochet stitches, three single crochets into your chain three space, single crochet into the center of your Catherine wheel, single crochet, three single crochet into your chain three space. Repeat that all the way across. Mark your final stitch into the center of that last stitch. And that brings you to the end of working the body of your bookmark. So you're going to fasten off and at this time you may weave in any ends that are sticking out. Now at this time, once you've finished working the body of your bookmark, you're going to work the edging. And it's up to you as far as what color you would like to work it in. I worked it in my color B. And what you're going to do is at the center of either of the short ends, and I started uh, over here at this end, so the end that did, does not have the wheel on it, you're going to join your yarn in the center with a slip stitch as close as you can get. You 
You're now going to work a simple round of single crochet stitches. So starting on the short round, you're going to work four single crochet stitches spread evenly all the way across. When you come to your corner stitch, and if you have to, you're welcome to uh, work a few extra. I'm actually just going to move my center over here because I wasn't quite centered. You really want that to be centered because that's where your embellishment is going to come out. So you're going to work four single crochet stitches evenly spaced out all the way across. When you come to your corner stitch, you're going to work three single crochet stitches into that corner stitch. It's going to bring you along to your long end. You're going to work one single crochet into each stitch all the way across. In your corner stitch, you will work three. So once you reach that corner stitch, you're going to work three single crochets into that corner stitch. You're then going to work seven single crochets spaced evenly across. Seven. You'll work three single crochet stitches into your corner stitch. And then work one single crochet stitch along in each of the stitches along that other long edge. Once you have come to your corner, work three more in the corner. After you have worked three single crochets into that final corner stitch, you're going to evenly work three single crochets across to your middle stitch. And once there, you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch into that first stitch. We're now going to continue working the little embellishment, so this little wheel here on our bookmark. You can, if you wanted to, fasten off, weave in your ends and block your bookmark at that point if you wanted, or you can continue to make this embellishment. To make the wheel, we're going to start by chaining 10. You're then going to slip stitch into the fifth chain from your hook. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Into that fifth, fifth chain, you're going to work a slip stitch. You're now going to work into the center of that little loop that you have created. Chain three. And if you need to, you can turn and then work one double crochet and then picot. To work the picot stitch you're going to chain three and then slip stitch back into the top of that double crochet stitch. I'll show you again. You're then going to work two double crochets into the center of your ring and then a picot stitch. So chain three and slip stitch back into the top of the double crochet stitch. Work two double crochets and picot. So you're going to repeat that for 
a total of five more times. We want to have a total of eight of these little pico stitches. So two double crochets. And pico. Six, so two double crochets, seven, Once you have your eight little picot stitches, you're then going to work one more double crochet into the center of your ring. And you're now going to slip stitch down the starting chain five that you had, um, or the five remaining chains of your chain 10. So into that top chain, simply slip stitch all the way down. tight. There we go. Then when you come down to the very bottom, I like to slip stitch once more in and we're going to fasten off. Instead of leaving it there, I kind of slip stitch across a few of those stitches just to make it a little bit stronger. And then fasten off. There you have it. Weave in your ends. You're welcome to block the bookmark if you desire or simply straighten it out if it's inside the center of your book it's gonna straighten out there anyway so that's it that's how you make this Catherine wheel bookmark thank you so much for watching this video tutorial and again be sure to subscribe and check out some of the other videos here on my channel I look forward to seeing you again soon happy crocheting bye